Hey there everybody, DJ Infinity here, and I want to show you guys right now what I use for DJing, my DJ software on my computer. I use Mixmeister. This is Mixmeister 3, it's really old, um, it's about 5 years old, got about 5 years ago. I've never had any problems with it, so I've never really had to change. Basically, here we have our catalog, and this is just a catalog of all the music that you have loaded into Mixmeister. Here we have the playlist. You drag songs from the catalog to the playlist and they appear down here in this little area that shows you where it gives you a graphical representation of the song itself. You can zoom in, you can zoom out. Also down here, I have the mouse right here, when you click it'll give you a flashing black and white bar. That's basically where you have, it's, it's it's a pause point. So if I would hit play from here, it would start playing. So I'm going to have to hit pause and it would stop and that's the pause point. When you hit play from that flashing line, it creates a green bar. This is where you are currently in the song. So I'm going to hit pause again and that it jumped there, that's the pause point again. You're looking at the end of the song right here. As that green bar comes across here, it'll hit this. There's a bar right here, it's orangish or reddish. And you can move this bar, this is the stop or end bar, the outro zone, the outro range. You can move it anywhere you really please. It's really up to you. There's also a blue line that runs across the, the entire song. You see how it kind of goes down? That's where the volume, this is the volume marker. So if you want the whole song to be quieter, you would drag this down. Or if you want it to be louder, you drag it up. In the outro zone, it gives you a couple of uh, little boxes here and you can adjust the sound. You can adjust the volume as you want the sound to go away. Also, this is the intro range for the next song. I'm going to take this red bar and I'm going to move it into the first beat of the next song because I don't really want any of this stuff. This is all just intro stuff. I'm also going to take the volume slider, slide the volume all the way down so you get something that looks like this. It's, you know, the beats are going and going and going. I have it set to the last beat on this song and the first beat on this song. So let's take a look and see how it sounds right now. See, I like that a lot better than me trying to mix it on turntables or CDJs. It's a lot easier and faster for me to do something like this. I have tried other DJ programs in the past like PC DJ and Tractor and all those things and they just really didn't appeal to me that much. Um, I had to, if there's a song that I didn't know, I wouldn't know when it would end, I didn't know when, it would, when the next song would start, things like that. So basically I can take any song, I don't even have to preview it, I can put it into here and I can make it work. There are other things you can do with this program called beat mixing. I'm going to go into that in the next video. But right now I'm going to show you how to import songs into here. Right now I'm in the entire catalog section. You want to click, right click, and you have a couple different options. Preview song, I right clicked on this song, Paula Deanna. We have preview song, add to end of playlist, import music files. That means import files into the catalog files you have already on your computer. You can import a directory of music files. That means a whole directory. You can copy the file. You can rename it. You can delete it from the catalog. You can select every single file in the catalog. You can recalculate the beats per minute. The program is really nice too because it automatically generates beats per minute. Here at Paula Deanna Overloved it gives me a beat per minute of 159.9. Now you go down and let's say, let's say we have, um, you know, 
Dr. Demento, the Monster Mash, it's got a BPM of 139.2. So if you if you hit this top bar here, it says title, artist, and BPM. I'm going to hit that, and it gives you all the BPMs that are close to that. Let's say we're going to take the Monster Mash. We're going to drag it over here, and we're going to take Van Halen's DOA, or Foreigner's Dirty White Boy, and we'll drag it into the list. The BPMs are almost exactly the same. So if we would line these songs up, we could actually play them without even noticing the difference. And we'll see how it sounds with them being really close. Uh, it's a little different. The genre's a little screwy, but pretty much get the picture. This is a really easy drag and drop program. And once you really get into the aspects of it, you can really do some cool stuff with it. I'll show you the BPM and the options for mixing BPMs in a later video. You would do that here, though. You right click on the song and you go down to use beat mixing. And you can use the beat mixing that way. There's more videos to come. This is just an intro right now. So keep keep on uh, keep on looking for some good videos and practice and enjoy.